Eric Darling here with Darling Data. And uh, in today's video, we are going to revisit automatic tuning again. Because, obviously, I, I talked about automatic tuning in, well, now yesterday's video. And, um, you know, Brent was having problems with automatic tuning, Jessica. Um, I'm just making fun of the transcript. The way that things get transcribed in YouTube, I'm sure things look dumb in mine. Uh, but then Brent commented on YouTube that I'm not being fair and uh, also on LinkedIn that I'm not being fair. And so I had a little chat with Bats Maru and Bats Maru said, mm, be fair. So in today's video, we're going to be fair because there's one thing we care about here at Darling Data, it is, it is fairness. So um, <clears throat> let's walk through Brent's example which involves, uh, I've, just, I've just reformatted things a little bit because um, it, 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 it's not specific to Brent. <laughs> Everyone else's query formatting gives me a headache. So I just reformat, move things around a little bit. Uh, but this is, uh, you know, we're using Stack Overflow 2013, not, not the full Stack Overflow database. Uh, di uh, apparently, everyone who says disks are cheap has never bought disks from Lenovo. So <laughs> we're using a slightly smaller version of the database here. But I've created the function and I've added the uh, is valid oh, er, er to the table. And um, that's not my typo. Don't yell at me. Uh, I've created an index on reputation and I've created the, the get top users store procedure. Um, well, actually, maybe, maybe I cut that off when I was moving stuff around. Anyway, that thing's in there, <laughs> I promise. Otherwise, this thing would just throw errors, right? Uh, and so what I'm going to do is follow along from here, where we alter the database compat, compat level to 110. Uh, we change the database scope configuration, and we mess a little bit with query store. And uh, in Brent's example, he had only executed the store procedure five times, uh, which is in, an inadequate num amount of sampling for uh, auto for the automatic tuning feature. Now, automatic, no, I went hunting through the query, the not query store, the extended events GUI, because I wanted to figure out if there were any uh, events that would fire around automatic tuning. And there are a whole bunch of them. So I just created a session with all the ones that I thought looked interesting in there. And that's what, that's the live data that we're watching over here. All right, cool. So we've got this thing watching our, our query, watching our, our server very carefully. And I've also got the script from yesterday fired up, ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is rather than just execute the procedure five times, we're going to go a little bit, we're going to go a little bit harder than that. And we're going to use SQL query stress, if it'll actually show up on the screen. Where are you, SQL query stress? There you are. Uh, no, no, it's a new window. Oh, apparently that other window was frozen. Okay, good. Uh, let's load settings. Thanks, thanks, thanks for like making me look like an amateur. SQL query stress. It's real cool. Uh, let's put that in there. <clears throat> and then I'm going to, uh, just for this one, I'm going to do um, 100 and 100 to make it an even uh, a lot of executions. And uh, that all does, I don't know, pretty quick, right? And if we chop off a zero there and a zero there, we're gonna get ready to do the next one. Now, uh, right now, we don't have any data in here, right? Nothing is showing up here and nothing will be showing up in here. Um, but what's really funny is that in compat level 110, we can't even run this query to check on things. Uh, even if I add a, an optimi like a, a, a compat level hint to this query for 150 or 160, we can't run this query with JSON in it because it's not available under compat level 110. Uh, would that I had a big enough hand to smack everyone at Microsoft who makes these decisions, I would gladly do it. It would just be uh, an endless slap for, for, I don't know, probably 10 years. Anyway, uh, you're just gonna have to take my word for it that there's nothing in here and there's not, well, obviously nothing in the extended event. So that, that's great. Uh, so now let's flip the compat level to uh, 160. And we're gonna just do this for 10 by 10. And this is gonna be significantly slower. But if we come over here and watch this, um, eventually we'll get some data in here. Uh, it takes a little bit though. Um, the, this thing takes a lot longer to run under compat level 160. And of course, you know, um, 
the, the, the actual feedback for the event takes a somewhat significant number of executions before uh, it starts thinking about regressions and making guesses and figuring out if things, things need to be changing. But whoo, there we go. Uh, miraculously, around 20 executions now, we have uh, a regression check. Right? And now since we are in compat level 160, we can run our JSON query and we have some advice in here. Right? Uh, average query time changed from 7.56 milliseconds to one, well, 15.2 seconds. And we have some stuff over here where just like with my example query, uh, there was you know, some information about which query we should force and which query IDs were involved. So let's take that and let's put that in there and let's stop SQL query stress so that we don't have another weird crash thing going on in there. I'm not sure why SQL query stress had a problem, but uh, if we look in query store, we will see uh, query ID one had two plans. And since this is sorted by average CPU descending, this will be the slow one and this will be the fast one. We got 50 executions out of that and 10,000 executions out of that. So um, yeah, there's actually stuff in there. Now, sort of interesting, um, maybe, I don't know, vaguely interesting, is if we flip compat the compat level back to 110 and we add some zeros back in here, I don't know exactly how interesting this is, and we run this a whole bunch of times, the uh, live data view from here will actually show this uh, automatic tuning check abandoned <laughs> thing for our query, like see, there's query ID one, that's the one we are looking at. So at some point this thing does, <laughs> SQL Server does sort of give up on this one because there are a lot of errors in there. Now um, that finished and now you can see that I, I use a Len Lenovo and Lenovo uh, did a, a software check, it's very interesting stuff in my life. Uh, and now if we uh, flip the compat level back to 160 so I can run the JSON query again, uh, sometimes this will say that the query is too error prone. Uh, it's not happening here, but at least, I don't know, I've ran through this a few times and um, like there was one time where it said for the under reason, it was like, this query is too error prone. We can't, we can't handle doing this. Uh, it only happened to, no, like, like I said, every once in a while. Over here it says it is not error prone, but at least one time, uh, maybe, probably actually at least two times it did say it was error prone. Uh, I'm not sure why SQL Server changed its mind. Maybe I just ran this thing enough that it's, it changed its mind about that. I'm not, I'm not sure, I couldn't tell you. But anyway, the moral of the story here is that five times is not enough, uh, not, not, not enough executions to get uh, the automatic tuning stuff to kick in. But if you run stuff a lot uh, using, I don't know, you could use O stress if you're feeling command liney. Uh, but SQL Query Stress does a pretty good job of executing stuff enough to trigger the automatic tuning, at least recommendations. And uh, if you have the, f the, the automatic plan forcing stuff on, it'll force the plan for you. Um, anyway, I think that's about that. So we can probably stop this here. Um, me and Bats Maru are, are, have achieved peak fairness for the day. So we're going to go celebrate now. Um, I don't know what we're going to do to celebrate. Bats has some crazy ideas. Bats, Bats, Bats has some crazy stuff to say. But anyway, that's that. Um, execute the store procedure more. Something will happen eventually. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. I hope everyone learned something. And uh, as always, my rates are reasonable.